All right, thanks for watching our 49cc two-stroke install video. I basically just took this scooter out of the box. Got my tools here, and I'm just gonna go step by step. Very first thing you'll see is your fender is separate, not on your scooter. So you take this out of the box, take the bubble wrap off, come to your frame. The bolt's already in the spot for you. Take it off. It goes in the hole right underneath the reflector. As such, that will screw right back into the hole. I'm hand tightening everything in this video to make things go a little bit quicker. Righty, so I gotta tighten on my right hand. All right. All right. Just gonna screw it in a little bit further. All right. You can actually adjust your angle. These brackets actually bend. You can move this up, down, your desire. I just hand tighten it. It's on there. We're good to go. Second thing is you'll find your gas tank. Come over here, please. You will see two lines, one yellow, one clear. Yellow one is your gas in. If for some reason you just need to double check, one line will go all the way to the bottom. The one that goes all the way to the bottom is your gas in. And today that's yellow. All right, come to your frame. You will see the two bolts. We already put them in the spots for you. So you unscrew them. Now it's very important to keep the rubber washer on the outside of your tank. So on the first bracket, the tank's gonna go on the outside. Rubber washer, screw, tank, frame. Nut on the back side. Once again, I'm just hand tightening it. All right, oh, figures. Alrighty, just give it a little couple turns with my hand, and that's good. Alright, on the front bracket, as you will see, you want to go tank behind the bracket. Just fits better. Yes, you can force it that way. Fits better this way. Rubber washer on the outside of the frame again. Push it through. You will see the tank come straight. I'm just going to give it a quick hand tight. Screw it. Okay. That's done. Secure. Good. I just hand tighten it. Now, the spring sometimes is not on the lines already. I put it on there for video purposes. It's, it's just a protector. So slide it over both your lines. And then you will take your lines. Come behind the shock as such. You can go other ways if you want. This is where I prefer it. Come over here. This is your carburetor. You have a bigger rigid valve, smaller, smoother valve. The gas in that we established a minute ago is our yellow. Yellow gas in goes on bigger rigid valve. As such. Your gas return goes on the smaller, smooth valve. While we're on the carburetor, you got your prime bulb. When you first get your scooter, you put your gas and oil in your tank. You want to prime that about eight times. You will actually see gas flowing in both lines. You're good. And then, um, then you can start it at whatever. Um, as you start it, after you primed it, this is your choke lever. Your choke lever has to be all the way up. It will not start down. It has to be up. Start your scooter. Let it warm up 30, 45 seconds. Choke arm has to go down. You have to take off in the down position. If you try and take off up here, it's going to stall. Flip it down. Take off. While we're on the carburetor, you got your air intake screw, which is the flathead right here. You want to make sure that's 80% closed. That will give you the max speed. There's also a Phillips head right behind the choke arm. That's your idle screw. Um, I recommend putting the scooter together on top of a box, start your engine, and you can tune up your scooter a little bit, give you a little more takeoff speed and help it start easier. I recommend one full complete turn clockwise and start there. Then you'll start your scooter up. Um, you can tune it up a little bit more. 
If you over tune it, your back wheel is going to spin on its own. So you just go back counterclockwise. You've gone too far. Um, that'll give you a little more power. Makes the start easier. Lastly, up position to start, down position take off. Alrighty. Now we got our seat and seat post. This is how it's going to come out of the box. This is your quick release arm. Small pull, big pull. I want to reiterate right here that your clamp bolt has to be directly in front of the slit on the metal. If this is over here or anywhere in said in front, when you close this, it will not squeeze the metal. It will not grab this. The way we have it now, you tighten this up a little bit, put it in front of the slit, put your pole in, and then close your arm. Secure. Doesn't move. So, on the scooter, it goes in the scooter uh, stem hole. So you slide it down as such until the brackets on the pole go all the way down. And you will notice right below that is a hole. This will be in your manual packet. This is to lock the stem in because right now I can lift it up and down. So you take this. Go through the hole, it will go through the stem, comes out the other side, and there's actually a little ball on it so it locks. Now your stem can't move. Your seat goes right on top. On the bottom of the seat there's a hole. Put it right in there. Before we tighten the seat, bend your seat forward, backwards, however you prefer. I'm just going to put it in the middle. Then you take your socket wrench I recommend getting a socket set or a crescent wrench you will tighten each nut you want to go equally so maybe tighten this two or three times tighten the side two or three times go back and forth until it's both tight remember you can raise your seat and seat post just undo your arm comes up goes down to take it off pull your pin Pull up your seat. Oh, I'm gonna take my. I didn't tighten it down, but I'm just gonna take that off so it doesn't go flying. Quick release. You're done. All right. While I'm on the back end, I want to let you know, scooter's coming right out of the box. Brand new brake pads. They're probably gonna be a little tight, and this one is no exception. You can see how it's a little firm. Brake pads are brand new, so you need to adjust your brakes. This is gonna be the same on the front and the back. This nut where the cable goes through, right here. Nice socket wrench, 10 millimeter. You wanna loosen this nut. This arm's gonna come downwards, sliding through the cable, releasing one of the brake pads. I recommend going down about a half inch. I wanna demonstrate. I'm loosening it, and now it's sliding. Go down a half inch, tighten it back. Now it's good. Now, that's one brake pad. The other brake pad is this bottom Allen screw. Follow right down to the bottom. I recommend starting with a half a turn counterclockwise, just like that. That releases the other pad. Now let's check the wheel. Look how easy that is, no effort. Perfect. For a very long time, you will never have to do that again. You do it right, just like that, front and back. You're good for a very long time. Um, I do just recommend testing all your bolts. Make sure everything's tight before your first ride. These are your chain tighteners. It should come nicely adjusted. Medium tension chain. If you need to tighten it for whatever down the road, if you ever have to change an inner tube, um, then you loosen these chain tighteners and this wheel will slide forward and backwards. It's on each side. So, other than that, it's very simple. That's really all you got to know. Um, you take those off. Tire really moves forwards and backwards. Chain will come off if you need it to come off. Um, I was just told by my cameraman that I forgot the extra exhaust. So your scooter comes with a stock muffler already installed. Perfect stock muffler. Highly recommend. Do not even putting this on. Runs better with this. It will never break. It's secure. However, people do like these and they are nice looking. You literally unscrew one screw. This cover comes right off. This will bolt onto the exact same holes that the stock muffler is on. Two bolts. 
However, you got to use the two new smaller bolts that we give you. So you will take these two little bolts, go in the same holes as that one. And there's one more bracket bolt. And then once you have this on, this cover goes right over top of it. If you do put this on, you need to stay on smooth surfaces because you can hit this bottom piece on curves, speed bumps, stuff like that. And they don't like going off-road a lot. So um, just things can get caught. Um, it's really for looks, gives you a tiny bit more power, uh, but it needs to stay on smooth roads. Very important. I like the stock muffler. I highly recommend leaving on the stock muffler. Um, last thing on the back end, I'm going to show you how to use the valve extender without ever having to take off your tire. Your front tire, you don't have all this chain stuff, so it's very easy. You can just take any hose right to it, zip, zip, you're done. This will be in your tool kit. People sometimes don't know what this is. This is a valve extender. You don't have to take off your back tire when you use this. You find your valve stem, which is always on your chain side, and it's right there. It goes right through the hole of the sprocket and it will screw on to your valve stem. So the big end, valve stem, you're gonna to have to turn it clockwise about 25 turns to the right until you can't turn it anymore. It has to be all the way on. Then this end, just any tire pump. Very simple. You can always do it the old fashioned way and take off the tire, this saves you a lot of time. Um, for time purposes, we already put on the front tire, but this tire will come not installed. Um, it doesn't fit in the box when it's installed, but it's very easy. This axle will be in your scooter box. On the axle, you have a spacer and a washer, spacer washer. The side without the disc brake, this is the disc brake, the side without gets the longer, I think it's a 1.5 inch spacer. Put the washer in between the bearing and the spacer on that side. This side, a lot less room, you got a half inch spacer. So you go washer in front of the bearing, small spacer, that's it, nut. This fr front brake is just like the back brake. We've already adjusted it, turns very smooth. Um, that's pretty much it. The last thing is our handlebars. Let me slide in here. This is your gooseneck, the folding gooseneck. This is very important that you do it right from the beginning. So I'm gonna go over what's going on here. This goes down into the frame. This is your steering ball. You don't see this because it's in here. So what's very important is you tighten this bolt, which is right here, all the way down to grab this ball very firmly. I've already done it, so once you do that, it grabs your front end. And before you actually tighten that bolt, you want to make sure your gooseneck is all the way down. It needs to be right on top of this nut. There cannot be a space in there. And in order to get it all the way down, most of the time it is, but there could be a little half inch gap from the factory. Take a hammer, I got a padded hammer, and just hit down on it. Hit it all the way down until you have no gap. Then it's perfect. Um, this also has to be aligned with your front tire in a perfect line. If it's off to the left a little bit or right, just take a hammer, tap it either way. You do all this before you tighten it because it'll move very easy. And then once you get that, you take your Allen key. Take your Allen key. This is before you put on your handlebars and tighten that down all the way. All right, so now it's secure, it's all the way down, it's very tight. So now my front end is perfect. You will notice that there is a big long bolt here. This is to secure your handlebar. So for now, you take it off. Don't lose your lock washer. Just put that right to the side for one second. We'll grab our handlebars. You will notice there is a big long folding bolt on your handlebars. Take that off. Put this on the scooter. It can only go one way. Slide the bolt through the back hole. As such, I'm just going to hand tighten this. Now, you got your folding handlebars. This is how it folds down. Makes for easy storage, carrying, whatever. 
Now when you're ready to ride it and secure it, that bolt I just took off goes right down in the hole. So make sure your lock washer is up top. Goes straight down the hole. This is what's going to screw it onto that gooseneck that we just adjusted. This I'm actually going to tighten it with my wrench so it's nice and secure while we finish up the scooter. This is a very important bolt. This has to be very tight. It'll keep your front end from any kind of wobbly, wobbliness. It's very, very sturdy once you tighten it. Oops, wrong size. There we go. I highly recommend a nice good key set because those little tools that come with the scooter you can't get as much torque. This is a very important bolt as well as tightening the back. Don't forget to tighten that with a nice wrench and a pair of pliers. Alright, that's very tight. Now, everything is straight, secure, and firm. Last thing you got to do is just put on your hand, hand grips. The throttle and kill switch is on your right, and then your other handbrake's on the left. And you will notice there is a bolt nut. Just take that off. See the hole in the hand? Go right through there. Just line it up. Sorry, this way. I recommend coming from this side. And it pops right through. Take your nut from the back side. There we go. And then you'll tighten it good with a wrench, both sides. And now you got your gas, kill switch, front, back brake. Um, that's pretty much it. Everything's good to go. Make sure you put 45 PSI on your tires, 40 to 45 PSI on your tires. Adjust the brakes, as I said. Take off and have fun. Thanks again.